Our OS Leaders Project was on Claire Hawking. Ms. Hawking is currently a professor at Auckland University of Technology in New Zealand. Prior to being an occupational scientist, Claire Hawking held jobs in factories, medical wards, and psychiatric rehab centers. Her education includes a bachelor's in occupational science from the University of South Australia and her master's in occupational therapy from Auckland University in New Zealand. During our interview, Claire told us that there wasn't a particular moment when she knew she wanted to be an occupational scientist, but she did tell us that she was originally inspired and continues to be inspired by occupational science because she thinks it's an area of work that still needs a lot of exploring. She also told us that her geographical location has been a big challenge of her career. Since she lives in New Zealand, the population is small, so there's not a lot of patients to work with and get data from, but she thinks that the work she's doing is still very useful. Claire's main focus of research is on health promotion and human rights and justice issues. She looks at occupational justice and strategies people use to participate in daily occupations. However, today she has a focus on tracking how the perception of the environment has shifted within occupational science from the time it began to today. She also has a focus on post-work research, which incorporates occupational science, occupational therapy, and as well as other professions. Lastly, in the classroom, Claire has a focus of doctoral and master thesis supervision, while also co-teaching for the evidence and practice paper in her OT program. Claire has had an outstanding career as well as a lengthy list of achievements. She has co-authored the third edition of Wilcox's Occupational Perspective of Health, co-edited Occupational Science Society Inclusion Participation, authored more than 30 chapters in encyclopedia entries and 120, 120 referred journal articles, supervised 12 doctoral theses and 38 master theses to completion, and has been the executive editor of the Journal of Occupational Science since 1997. Her awards are the Wemmel West Lectureship from the University of Southern California and the World Federation of Occupational Therapists Merit Award for Exemplary Service to the Federation from the World Federation of Occupational Therapists. And lastly, during her interview, she stated that her greatest accomplishment thus far in her work has been being able to apply her concepts of OS into her concepts and ideas for OT. Claire hopes to continue her research into environment and how her occupational science understandings will differ from occupational therapy practices in outside cultures. She also hopes to continue research through being a commentator on the development of occupational science. She has spent a lot of time linking her occupational science research to her experience with occupational therapy practice and wants to continue to be at the forefront of these developments. She wants to help improve and hone the findings for a better progression of the fields together. When asked about how she keeps occupational balance, she said it was simply by her dog and knitting. Her dog provides an outlet from work with healthy interactions via walking, playing, and caring for him while not being overtaxing. It also allows her to have a social aspect when she is walking her dog and people interact with her. Knitting is a meaningful occupation to her as well, and it allows her to indulge in leisure, and if she is with a group or friends, allow some play and playfulness into her life. One word of advice from Professor Claire Hawking is for occupational science students to start attending occupational science and occupational therapy conferences so we can start to meet people and engage with the people who are promoting new ideas in our field. When we asked Professor Claire Hawking why she believed occupational science is an important field of study, she said that occupation is an area of knowledge that is intimately related to health that hasn't been explored much. If we know more about occupations, we can better the lives of individuals. She also said that occupational science will expand the boundaries of occupational therapy, generating new knowledge to address societal needs. One other reason she believes occupational science is important is because other healthcare professions can benefit from the research occupational scientists are doing. These three quotes inspired us as a group of future occupational therapists because we thought it was very interesting that she works in the OS field internationally. These quotes inspire us as students because we should be expanding outside of what we are familiar with. 
They can inspire others to travel outside of the country and learn about other countries' thoughts on occupational science. The OS and the OT field is changing, and Ms. Hawking is a great example of a leader in the OS field. Her work has affected many people outside of the states, and it has also inspired us as students to want to do the same.